Hello everyone. I got a new webcam, a Logitech C920 that I thought I would give a try in a quick video or hope will be a quick video, but <laughs> may not turn out that way. Um, and excuse the audio, I would like it to be better. I know I have this mic um, on me, but it's more for this one verse of the song I'm gonna do for a demo than for this part. So if it's a little noisy, it's just the microphone's built-in webcam. Anyway, the reason for my doing this video is I had an email conversation going with someone where they were talking about using a free program from Avid called Pro Tools First, I think it's called. Pro Tools normally is not free. It can be a bit of an expensive setup, but they make a free program. I went ahead and downloaded it and unfortunately didn't have much success with it. So. That wasn't the greatest thing, but that had me wondering what else there was out there. And as I did some searching, I found a program by a company called Presonus called Studio One Prime, I believe it is. I'll put a link for it in the description. And it is actually free. It's not their full version, obviously. They have uh, actual full professional program, shall we say. Um, the one I always use is Cubase by Steinberg. But for anyone out there, I thought if you'd like to give a try on this recording stuff, multi-track recording, this is free. It might be a good thing to give you a taste of what it's like. And I thought I would use this video to show you how, how I open the program and set up a quick little song and even record with it. So bear in mind, I have my expensive audio interface I'm using, so it's not, I, I would like to tell you what would be a less expensive option, and I may have another video in the future, or videos, as I have a contact from a company that might pro be providing me with some review units, so that's cool. But this video isn't intended to be a full exhaustive tutorial. I just wanted to share with you guys this free program, and if any of you would find it useful, great. So now I'm going to switch over to my desktop view. Uh, one second, I'll make this smaller. There we go. Many of me. And now we will open Studio One 3X64. Takes a little bit to open. Now I did have a song already saved, but now I'm thinking I will create a new song. Just to show you the setup where you would give it a title, How I Love Jesus, since that's the song I'm just going to do one verse of. That's where you get the title. Uh, you pick where you want to say the song. Ooh, music seems like a good folder. I call the Studio One one, like that. Select folder. You'll give your sample rate, resolution, this stuff. Uh, that is more description for another video. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at those settings and hit OK. The song here now is empty, waiting for us to load stuff. So I'm going to go up here to Instruments, Presence. This is a built-in virtual instrument, and with it we have a number of different sound sounds built in, like drum kits, guitars, strings. I'm going to go to keyboards because I just want a piano. I'll pick the grand piano sound. Yep, uh, my keyboard is responding there. I will also turn, you can't see it, but as I go on the bottom right, there's a mix button I'll press. That gives me the mixer view, and you can see right here that I've got levels, so my piano's working. I will also add reverb. I'm going to play with this a little bit more um, in post, meaning even though I would like to have done this live when I play the song, in post I'll probably do what editing I need to and change the effects more the way I like the sound. But rest assured, I'm going to do it all with this program, so so that you know that I, I if I did it, you can do the same thing. We'll also add an audio track. It'll be this type audio. I just named it vocal. And all this stuff, pick the right input for my microphone. Hit OK. Now if I press this, this is the record enable button, so I will actually record. And we've got level coming in. You can see that. That's great. I will go into uh, inserts and add a channel strip where I could add simple EQ and cut off the low end. This mic is very boomy, low bassy sound. I'd probably add some compression as well. 
Yeah, had some makeup gain there. I'm, I'm going too fast, I'm sure. You're all going, whoa, what's he doing? I'm just trying to fly through to show a simple setup. And we'll add an FX channel <clears throat> for some reverb, mix verb. I kind of like this vocals big setting there. And I know it's working even though you can't hear it, but you will when I play the song. That we have some reverb added through this send. How much is this slider? This would be really reverby. This would be none. So I'll adjust that when I record. And really, for now, that'll be pretty much it. I'm going to switch over now. I'll get this recording. And uh, just a little test there. Yep, mm -hmm. it's recording. We'll switch back here. There. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to my other webcam that's going to turn off the webcam's mic, the internal, uh, this one up here for me, and it will go over to the sounds as I'm recording, and I'll just do one verse as a demo, so here we go. And there you have it, a quick demo showing you that free program from PreSonus Studio One Prime, I believe. Um, I know that that wasn't very in-depth. I'm going to make a little card in the top right corner of this video where you can vote and let me know if you would like a, another video. If you try this program and you're like, well, it'd be nice to know how to do some of this stuff. I'm not sure how it works, but I'd like to learn. Just let me know if you'd say yes to a tutorial video or no. Um, or use the comments too if any of you try it and you'd like to know something more specific, how to do something. Uh, some of you may never play with the MIDI features, like that's how I recorded my piano playing. And some of you might only want to record audio through a microphone. So you don't need to know all the features, but if you'd like to know any of that, just let me know with that card uh, to vote. And I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. That's fine too. That's it. Till next time. Bye-bye.